Welcome to Three Hoodoo Sisters, guys. I've been gone for a while, and um, I had I was traveling outside of the country. Um, I had spiritual work to do. I had like um, other obligations in other countries, um, but I'm back. Um, I'm just glad to be back. But um, why don't we talk about how um, Emily B gave? fabulous two kids and he took her two front teeth so I guess they're even now like I, I don't know y'all personally I don't really watch those reality shows but I do remember her because she was just so stupid like I think I watched her in like two episodes and I was like yeah she's stuck on stupid like she's yeah and um so I'm just going to read what I read from t TMZ and um, em Emily B. I didn't even know her name. That's just how much I just really don't care. Um, Emily B. claims he punched out her front teeth. Fabulous flew into such a rage at Emily B., the mother of his two kids, that he punched her seven times and also threatened to shoot her as well as her family members, according to law enforcement sources. Um... Fabulous surrendered to the police on Wednesday night and was booked for aggravated assault and terroristic threats. He also needs to be arrested because he hasn't had a hit since I was in high school. Um, Emily told police things have been heated with the rapper since early March when they had an argument in L.A. She claims he later sent her a text saying he wanted to hit her in the head with a baseball bat. Well, when you're stuck on stupid, that's what people tend to want to do and would kill her. But he did not want to go out like that. Emily claims instead, Fabulous, a.k.a. Raggedy Tooth Motherfucker, reportedly punched her in the face and knocked out her two front teeth. Girl, I think she's been getting molly walked. Okay, so I don't think this is anything new. Um, Emily says she feared for her life and remembered Fabulous has two handguns in their home in Inglewood, New Jersey. So she called. How, how can Fabulous afford to stay in Inglewood, New Jersey? I think Fabulous is a ghost writer. Like, I think he writes for other rappers because he's just not that successful unless he owns like 10 golden corrals or like 10 McDonald's because Fabulous just doesn't come off as somebody who has money. Um, Fabulous was infuriated when he arrived at the house to find... Okay, y'all. Okay. Uh, enough with the fuckery. <laughs> enough! Enough! I'm, I'm good. Like, I've had my feel... That's that chick who you cool with whose boyfriend is always using her head as a basketball and you just get so tired of hearing all these crazy stories that you leave her alone. Like, dude basically, like, like, took your teeth and you still up in it and you still up in his face. You ain't packed your bags. You ain't, like, left forever. It's like, does he have to put you in your grave in order for you to really understand But like, that fabulous is not the man f f for you and never was like that's what I don't understand like y'all are about to, to be like why do you have on gloves I have on gloves because I'm actually cleaning it's spring cleaning and I'm cleaning this motherfucker out okay after I just came back so let me just go and see I just wanted to know in the long run is she going to stay is Emily B going to keep getting used as a mop and dragged through the floor why don't we see so what is the future of Emily B and fabulous what is the future of <laughs> Emily B and fabulous what is the future of emily b and fabulous five four three two one stop i don't care what these cards say you can't change ike turner i mean ike is ike you know what i'm saying 
when men beat on women it will never change like those are the type of men that you literally have to stay away from and fabulous has never given me family man energy never so i have to see what what it's gonna say are they going to stay together with first of all um <laughs> the way these cards are looking not so so hot um Y'all, she ain't leaving. She is not only not going to leave, she's going to find a way to profit off of it. So she's going to try to find a way. She's going to actually get even more public because the public is still playing a role in this. So we're about to hear more shit that she's about to like release. Like, you know how you try to shame someone into like behaving? It's got, well, well, if I expose his behavior, he's going to change. Girl, he took your two front teeth. I don't think he's going to change. But, like, I don't think you, you can get your teeth back. Like, like, seriously. Like, the cards are speaking in terms of strife in public. Um, the, the funny part is about her cards. I, I don't, guys, I'm struggling to, to do a reading on this because I really think like she already knows what time it is it's like why do you need a reading on some shit that you already know like what time it is he's never going to change publicly shaming him is not going to change him and something here is speaking in terms of um secrets being like revealed not just about them but about what fabulous is really up to in his private life so some more stuff is actually about to come out and it's funny because i don't think it's her i think it's going to be um i think it's going to be someone else who speaks up and it has a female energy so i'm not sure if it's somebody who he's had an affair with but people are about to start coming up and more public. Spirit is saying that this needed to happen. Um, this needed to happen. Because it's funny. She's trying to shame him. But people are actually about to turn around and shame her. And ask her, why are you still in this relationship? So this happened. It's sad that your ancestors had to allow your two front teeth to get knocked the fuck out. Um, because obviously your ears and your eyes don't work. So they decided to get your teeth knocked out. And it's sad because there's a lesson in this, Emily. He's dead ass wrong, but you're also dead ass wrong for staying with him too. But knowing how battered women are, it is hard to leave. So I get it. But this is speaking in terms of like stability and money and repeated trust issues like um a romantic secret being like 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 discovered um their marriage having to be reanalyzed and um guys i just see talking a lot more stuff is about more scandalous stuff is about to keep coming out and what's funny is i don't see her really leaving him so no their relationship is not over so from what the cards are saying you know it, it's just it, it just looks like more stuff is to come and um what caused what caused you know emily b and um and fabulous i can't stand fabulous i've never liked him never i just never i really think he's a ghostwriter i don't think he just i think he gives rappers his 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 you know his stuff because i just don't think he's relevant so let me just go and see and i don't even know who who emily b was i had to google it like it's not yeah so um what caused these problems between emily b 
and Fabulous. What caused these problems between Emily B and Fabulous? A five, four, three, two, one. Stop. My battery is low as hell, so this is going to be one of those bootleg readings um, because I don't have time <laughs> on my thing. I haven't charged it since I got back. Yo, Emily found out some secret. She found out something. Something was actually presented to her. Something that she didn't know about. So, it's speaking in terms of secrets and mysteries being presented to her. So, something was presented to her that really made her feel a certain type of way. Um, first of all, she obviously feels trapped in the relationship and she's just kind of taking what she can. Um, also, in speaking in terms of her being less in the public eye or trying to stay out of the public eye even before the incident. So, we, so something about her movements feels like limited. So I'm almost feeling like maybe Fabulous has her in one of those situations where she's not as free to move around as she feels she should be. There's there is also a lot of wastefulness and a lot of lack of leadership within the 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 actual household how fabulous is spending money where his money is going to why is this missing why is that not here it's a lot of questions that that she's been asking and also thing like where's your money going it's a lot of questions she has it's like yo like i see him working and making money but she's she's seriously she's asking like yo like where where is your money going what what are you doing and i'm not lying to y'all fabulous looks like he's all over the place it's like a blind leader he just he looks like he's he's here he's there he's everywhere but he's not doing and doing anything it's it, it's weird it's like she wants to know what are you doing so she has a lot of questions it's like okay, okay if your husband makes you know 80,000 in a year but your his check is always half gone but you don't understand what he's doing um so she's questioning a lot of things about you know but here's the thing y'all girl you should have been questioning a lot of things it's also calling fabulous the light magician um being able to work things and being able to switch words and being able to get his way and not really caring for his household meaning okay cool if you're paying bills but you're not here like there's your you're here and there and everywhere but you're not here so that family image that that, that he tries to portray is not there's a difference like like there's a difference between somebody who got business about themselves and somebody who really doesn't like um like you can understand why jay-z is not home like i can even understand why damon dash because he still owns businesses but what is fabulous doing that's really her biggest question like like dude what what are you doing you're not home but what are you doing outside of home and he's showing up as the magician who always gets his way as always being able to manipulate a situation Girl, how how is your daddy and your brother coming to your defense and he's still alive? That's what I want to know. How how is Fabulous still walking? Like how? Like he like how come he ain't dead? Like, girl, you that friend who I would stop picking up the phone because 
it's just too much it, it's just too much how does the fabulous feel about emily b how does fabulous feel about you know emily b how does fabulous feel about um emily b five four i hate these gloves three two one stop i'm just gonna go straight he he's conflicted He's conflicted. Like one side of him l l l like loves her and one side of him has to control her. It's literally like the angel and the devil. Like one side it, one side pours his heart out and then one side wants to take control. It it just keeps coming up as trying to, 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 to like hold her, as trying to limit her movements. Fabulous is a control freak. That's the word I was trying to find. He likes to be in the control. So a part of him loves her and a part of, parts of him hates her. Like, like really does. He, he just jumps from person to person. He doesn't know. Like, it hits crazy. He doesn't even know if he wants to, like, leave her either. So, this is the perfect Alana Vincent fix my hood life. Okay? Because, like, y'all, like, y'all need help. <laughs> like, this is highly dysfunctional. Personally, I've only had one man put his hands on me and I, I left. So, I'm not one to be used as a ball you know that you just toss around <laughs> like I'll throw my ass around in the circle but you ain't about to be bashing my head into like walls and shit I don't think so so he's conflicted like you can even come here someone who wants to, to do good but is conflicted or stuck he feels stuck in this relationship too he doesn't know what f future plans he has. Um, also, yeah, he feels stuck, y'all. He's 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 not about. He feels like he's responsible for her. I feel like even though you know Emily B makes her little checks, I don't know what the girl. I don't, what does Emily? What do any of these loving hip hop people really do? Like. Oh, was she on Love and Hip Hop? I don't even know. Y'all, remember I said he's the magician who manipulates and leads the relationship. Like I, like he's he's the one who's constantly telling her lies, but he's not ready to let go. He knows he has to, but he doesn't want to let go either. So even though he was swinging his play knife. <laughs> if somebody don't fucking if somebody don't do something about this shit the dude had a play knife and a bodyguard and y'all was still letting the nigga act up like I'm just I'm like yo y'all excuse my language but I, that's some fuckboy shit like he's y'all just standing there cussing and he's aiming his his not girl it's a mess okay somewhere somewhere in this crazy tainted love there's love there but it's highly dysfunctional i i just really think fabulous needs help and she needs help too she needs help to pack up her bags and leave because he got that you know ike syndrome so i don't think he's gonna change because a part of him it's like he fights himself. It's like, should I punch her today or should I hug her? He's like bipolar when it comes to her. And I just think you've had a man who's controlled you for so long that you, you don't even know what it's like to be, you know, independent. Like, you don't know what it's like to be happy in your own skin. You know, so, hmm. So, let me switch decks. Because, you know, when it's fucked up, I just feel that, you know, Emily has created this, I don't know, it's a, like she's delusional. Like she's, she's become 
delusional about where this relationship is going. Just because somebody loves you does not mean they will treat you well. That's like common sense. Like, and a lot of us don't seem to understand that. Girl, he knocked the two teeth out of your skull. You sat there and pushed two babies out of your poom poom. And he had the nerve to molly wop your two fucking front teeth out. Girl, I, I, I just don't know what it's going to take. I just don't know, girl. Shit. I, it took one Jamaican dude to push me and I was done. I was like, oh, you ain't putting your hands on me. I'm too cute in the face. Like, you ain't about to be, and I'm not just saying, I got a cute face. You ain't about to, mm -mm, no ma'am, break my jaw, break my nose. Nope, I don't think so. I'm gone. Like, I was gone. <laughs> so, y'all, will, will Emily leave him? Will Emily leave him? Will Emily leave him? Well, uh, there it goes. Will Emily <laughs> leave Fabulous? Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. I don't know if they should be on the Alana Vincent show or on the Maury Povic show. I just don't know because it's so dysfunctional. She's gonna, she's gonna ask for him to get help in some type of like rehab. Y'all, she ain't trying to leave. She ain't trying to leave. She ain't trying to leave. As long as she can get her like her false teeth or her like veneers, she ain't leaving. No, uh uh. No, she has so much sympathy for him it's it's almost like a mother energy and my battery is dead because i was about to ask where is i'm about to try to find real quick real quick what is the court case going to, to be like what is the court case the maury povic court case going to be like five four three two one stop how are you just gonna let a non-motherfucking factor who hasn't had a hit since i wore like cheerleader skirts to school <laughs> knock your teeth out girl knock your teeth out girl oh lord it's gonna be emotional forgiveness she needs the financial su support But here comes the card of death, which is very interesting. So it's it's having me see that she's during. Okay, so she's not going to try to leave him immediately, but it's going to happen. It's going to take her time to come to the acceptance that she is a battered woman. And that she's going to start bringing up a lot of things from um, her past. But it's not going to end immediately, guys. So we're about to watch this kind of play out. Yeah. More stuff is going to come up. Girl, more tea is about to start coming out, bitch. So get your teapots, your tea petals, your bitch. Drink the whole tea from the motherfucking kettle. Because, bitch, it's, it's, it's still more shit coming out. Yes. <laughs> I know it's wrong, y'all. I know it's wrong. I know I'm wrong. Y'all, she want. I got to leave. I gotta go, but I don't know. She don't know, y'all. She's out, and then she's conflicted, and, and then she's in. I think she is going to separate herself from him for a while, but she has a journey, and there's more information to come. Also, she's worried about how she's going to kind of financially support herself. I'm like, girl, you dating, like, the lowest level rapper like girl you can make more money on your own like you know the, like girl I don't know I have to think you've lost some friends over this cuz I wouldn't have time G girl you may I think he not only took a piece of your teeth but he took a piece of your mind